the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of one piece so last episode we learned robin's true reason as to why she had to leave and as to why she joined cp9 i thought she was already a part of cp9 prior but no she just joined up with them and her her powers do align with like an, an assassin which kind of which is the reason why i said that but or the reason why i had that theory but she did join um and it wasn't because of any selfish reason or or any of that it was literally as simple as if she didn't join cp9 if she didn't give up herself then the straw hats would have got buster called and buster call last episode they said or so previous to that buster call is when pretty much the navy brings in the swat they call all the admirals they call the fleets and you have no chance and you get eliminated from existence that's how she explained it pretty much they were gonna do that on the straw hats and that's because we ran into aokiji right so damn as cool no pun intended as cool as i thought aokiji was he kind of snitched on us he's the reason why right fuck <laughs> um but yeah they were uh i thought it was a bit much but then again then again it makes sense if she if robin is in fact the only person in the world that could read the poneglyphs which is which has the instruction manual to the fucking battleship pluton which is the battleship that can destroy the world then it makes sense as to why they want her so bad all right and now they got her because she's been running for 20 years since a little eight-year-old girl that's why her bounty's so high as an eight-year-old she's been running for 20 years but she decided you know in all those 20 years there, w there wasn't a reason big enough to give the government herself to turn herself in but with the straw hats and the fun she experienced she was with us only for a short time but in that short time we clearly saw she was fucking with us she how she was having fun okay she was having fun and also uh, it must have been nice to have another girl around you know can't we can't have nami be around a fucking sasha's fest this whole goddamn time right <laughs> i mean shit so yeah and i knew she i knew she fucked with us so when when she left it was a bit weird but now it all makes sense and now you already know luffy and them luffy and nami and zoro and sanji and all of them were we, they were gonna save or try to get robin back anyway but now that we have a legitimate reason to um then it makes it even even more so okay and that's good because i was questioning i i i'm pretty sure i said it in a, in a former reaction i was like okay f if robin's just gonna leave us like that then fuck her i literally said all right peace but now that i know the true reason why yeah i think we gotta save her or just get her back type shit because as strong as cp9 as much as they as strong as as stronger as they are than luffy and zoro at the moment strength doesn't really matter in anime right it's about uh you know friends and family power-ups it's about um all that courage brave any other cute adjectives you want to use and yeah so i'm with it i think we got to save robin and that that's it's it's pretty simple as that okay uh i think we wrapped up the frankie backstory as well very good backstory puffing tom disciples Frankie being a dumbass, learning from mistakes, all that type shit. So now let's see what the Straw Hats do to respond. Cause we can't beat CP9 right now, so I feel like we gotta we gotta retreat, think of a new plan, maybe some strategy, and then uh, follow Robin and them to where wherever the fuck they're going. Also, rest in peace, Mary. CP9 not, not only beat our ass, but they also destroyed our ship. So yeah. Anyway that's where we are in the story so without further ado let's go and get into it this is one piece episode 252 before we hop into it um 
I'm like 100 episodes ahead from the normal YouTube uploads. So if you want to have access to those early One Piece reactions, you want to go ahead and click that join button down below to become a member. All right. And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead, you can head over to my Patreon, which is also linked down below in the description. On that Patreon, you can find the full version of all the One Piece reactions so far. And of course, other TV shows and animes like Breaking Bad, um, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, Naruto, Bleach, all that type of shit. Um, link down below uh, otherwise like comment subscribe help me with the algorithm and join the discord if you haven't already with that being said op 252 let's get it damn they're even using the fucking train that Tom and Frankie and Iceberg built as another slap in the face. God damn it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. And we just lost our ship, so we either take that train now. I honestly think the best option is to wait. We know where they're going. Enos Lobby. So uh, we know, uh, now that we know where, the, where they're going, that's good. Even if we can make the train now, we just saw get our... We, we, we can't beat them. We can't beat them right now. So I, I, I actually think it's better to chill. And, you know... Train until Aqua Laguna ends, I guess. I don't know. And then then go save him. But then again, at any moment, they could just lock Robin up or kill her. So, I don't know, bro. Shout out to Polly for clearing the straw hat name. Good. Yeah, now Iceberg and Polly can clear our names. So we'll be chilling. That's one of our problems resolved, I guess, out of like a million. <laughs> <laughs> little side whisper don't worry actually we have to worry they have Usopp too I just realized they got Usopp Frankie and Robin holy shit <laughs> what the fuck? That random ass dude definitely does not know who Soap is. Hello? <laughs> okay, so... It looks like... Oh god. Seriously? He got stuck between buildings again? God fucking damn it. <laughs> God damn it, Luffy. And Zoro. Jesus. Hello? Uh, Zoro's stuck in a chimney. Of course. Okay. I feel like he can get out of there on his own. <laughs> but then again, his hands are stuck. Oh, I just realized getting stuck in a chimney upside down fucking sucks. Because you're upside down and your hands are like are stuck to your body. So you, oh my God. That's like one of the worst ways to get stuck. Jesus. Anyway, I was going to say, looks like Sanji is the only one that's able to make the train. Okay. Hey, Agent Sanji. We've seen this before. We've seen this in Alabasta. Sanji was a, was a fucking agent. Is that, is that, is that where they're growing with his character? Okay, I kind of like that. He definitely fits that role the best out of everyone in the crew. Hey, 
Damn, cold blooded. Jeez, I mean, I'm not surprised. Assassin organization. You gotta, you gotta learn to kind of shut your emotions off and cut ties. Interesting, awful life to live. I feel like. Hmm. Yeah, no, Luffy actually... I forgot that Luffy saved her life. She was willing to die under all that rubble in Alabasta. We missed it. I think Sanji got on, though. I mean, he's not at the fucking dock. He must be on the train. Right? Agent Sanji, activate. <laughs> um. So, I mean... Shit, bro. We didn't make the train. I didn't expect we would. And honestly, I don't think we should. Okay. I I do think it's good that one of us did though. So they got Robin, they got Frankie, they got Usopp. Okay. The best play is for us to lay back and figure out a way to beat these guys. But I think it's smart to have one person, you know, staking them out, following them around. Maybe, you know, if they find one of those transponder snails is that what they're called and besides you can relay the information back oh no but he's our he's our agent agent sanji baby we saw it in alabasta he had those weak ass glasses on <laughs> at the fucking casino i didn't forget that scene okay agent sanji i like I, I like how uh you know their characters you know these straw hats uh gain just just random characteristics that kind of stick that's good. I'm good for, uh, I like ongoing jokes or inside jokes type shit. Like how Zoro can't, apparently Zoro's bad with directions. That was one of the first things they did and they kept it up like every arc. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, Agent Sanji in the works. Good, good. But, um, I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's terrible that we didn't make the train. Okay. We got one person with them and it's going to give Zoro and Sanji, uh, sorry, Zoro and Luffy some time to train and think like, damn. We just got one shot by one of the guys and we possibly have to fight four or five more of these kind of people. So, you know, I don't, um, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's great that Sanji is the one on board though. If anyone can be an agent for us, it is Sanji. And that's good for sure. Um, but nah, I'm relieved. I'm definitely relieved that Robin is not like and that an evil asshole you know she was smiling on the train she was reminiscing at that type shit right and that's good i'm glad i'm glad okay um but yeah man that's gonna be it for the episode if y'all enjoyed the episode just as much as i did you know what i'm saying go and hit that like comment subscribe right help the channel out a bit and of course join, join the discord if you haven't already if you are not a member of the channel members get early access to these one piece reactions and i'm like at least 100 episodes ahead from the normal YouTube uploads. So if you want to become a member to get access to those early One Piece reactions, you want to go ahead and click that join button down below. Right? And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead, you can head over to my Patreon, where you can find the full version of all the One Piece reactions so far, including other TV shows and anime, like Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, Naruto Bleach, and you better do. Um, other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all on next episode. I want peace. Alright, peace.